kidnapping and killings have returned back to Nigeria's federal capital Abuja after over 10 months of silence from the bandits. Bandit last week attacked travelers on the Abuja Kaduna Highway and adopted over 30 people. Also, 10 persons were kidnapped in Dusia Laji area of the FCT Abuja after gunmen reportedly dressed as military men invaded the community. Some residents say the government should bring a lasting peace and solution to the lingering insecurity in the region. I'm, talking to you. I'm afraid to talk to you because we don't know who may be the next person. So we appeal to the government to help us with security here and in the whole country. Especially these uh, Finani people, they are the ones, you know, mainly being the problem of many things that is happening. Sometimes you will see them with arms, but nobody, you know, to talk or to say anything. They will be walking freely with a machete or whatever. So we need to talk, at least if they have somebody that is controlling them. A security expert says the government should give an account of the reasons why insecurity in the FCT has increased. When we begin to have insecurity in Niger, in Kogi State, in Nassau State, you know, in Plateau States, it tells you that even the federal capital territory is not secured because these are direct borders that have to relate with you know, federal capital territory on a daily basis. People travel. He noted a systematic and political corruption, majorly by the elites.